This is Lee from My Patient Finance again, and I'm just going to give you a demonstration of the online loan application process. Um, the whole system is online, so there's no documents to print, uh, nothing to sign. We use an e-signature process, which you'll see a little later on. So when you have your login details and you've logged on, this is the first screen you'll see. Okay, and there's the options down the left hand side. Uh, you can see recent proposals that you've put through down here. But today we're just concerned with uh, showing you how to submit a new proposal. So click begin proposal and start to fill in your customer details. And for the purpose of this demo, we'll just use some, some dummy data that we have. So don't try and email me lee at lee.com. It'd be a nice email address to have, but it's not gonna go anywhere. Okay, we're gonna keep this fairly sim simple. There's a homeowner, no dependents. Click proceed. Your basic disclaimer to read there. And then click the box. Then there's a qualifying criteria to confirm, so being over 18, being employed, etc. Click yes if the patient meets all that criteria. Has a credit form or credit search been done? No, because we're doing it all online here. So click no. And I'll give you the data usage information now regarding the credit search. Click the box and click proceed. Now put in the uh, patient's address details. So it's best to put in the full postcode and the house number or name before you press search. Okay, and click search. And that should populate the rest of the fields with the patient's address. So again, to keep it simple, we're gonna say everything's over three years at this stage. Click proceed. Confirm the address details are right. Uh, would you like to enter a joint application? I think 99% of the time that's gonna be no. So we'll click no and proceed. Fill in the patient's bank details. And again, we'll put five years. A couple of credit cards and a check card, which we also know as a debit card, and proceed. Then we're going to say our guy is employed at the highly reputable Bob's Pillows, where he's been working happily for five years. And his income, pillow related income, is £30,000 a year. And click proceed. Uh, now, ideally, we'd like you to enter everything into the goods field here. So we're going to say implants, a cost of £5,000. Then we're going to select 12 months interest free. So the term is 12 and the interest rate zero and click calculate. And then we get the monthly repayment and the total amount payable and proceed. Give the client a reference. Uh, anything you like here, we'll put the name, click update, and then click score. So as you can see, it's a fairly intuitive process. So uh, this has been approved so far. Uh, we now need a credit or debit card, photo card driving license with paper counterparts or a passport. I'm guessing most patients are gonna have a credit or debit card with them, uh, which is all they'll need to proceed. So click down here. Continue to e-signature. This is the pre-contract information that's gonna come up first. So you need to show this to the patient, make sure that they're happy with everything. And then scroll to the bottom of the page. And once you've got to the bottom, you'll see there in the bottom left-hand corner, confirm that you've read and that you're happy. Are you happy to proceed? Tick the box and say proceed. There is a phone number there if they do have any queries before they go ahead. And again, we have another pre-contract form, which is the written adequate explanation. Again, show this to the patient, 
make sure that they're happy and when you get to the bottom bottom left hand corner underneath click yes if they're okay and again are you happy to proceed tick and click this just confirms the direct debit details and asks that they are the account holder and the bottom are you happy to proceed yes and click proceed so now we're going to get through to the ID checks this is where you'll need the uh, credit or debit card or passport or photo driving license but as I say most people are going to have a debit or credit card with them so if they're happy to go ahead tick the box and click proceed and um, we're going to use uh, some dummy card details and I think we have visa details here and pop in the expiry date three digit security code from the back of the card and click proceed again okay I've got an error here so that's probably something I put in wrong with the uh, with the dummy data so let me just try something yep yeah, okay I think it needs to be a visa straightforward visa we'll try again okay and that's gone through as quick as that so now we have the final uh, agreement form and this is where we will use the e-signature process so there's the contract and if you scroll down the bottom of the first page you'll see there Mr Anthony Cooper and there's a four digit code there K3NR that's what you'll need to enter at the bottom of the page for the e-signature so let the patient read the rest of the contract make sure that they're happy you don't need to tick those boxes um, scroll back up and get your four digit code and enter it into this field here so we've got k3nr tick the box to say you're happy to use that as your e-signature click confirm and away you go and that's it simple as that the loan's been approved the patient has accepted it um, and all the uh, all the contracts are done